And when you choose to not vote for public schools, then you're choosing for your community not to grow. Teachers are taking a stand and wanting to get their voices heard. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Across Indiana, public school hallways were filled with educators dressed in all black. It's a way for them to take a stand against what's happening when it comes to legislation. News 10's Sarah Lehman is live in our newsroom. She has more from a local teacher about why they're taking a stand and what you should know if you want to help. Patrice Rondrell, today across the state, Indiana teachers wore all black as they worked to get attention from local law and state lawmakers to help public schools. It's a stark difference from the bright red they've been wearing in the past. Over the past several years, teachers across Indiana have promoted Red for Ed, a way to get attention from lawmakers and local leaders to put funding back into public schools and support public school teachers. They would wear red a certain day of the week, rally in front of the state house in a sea of red, and write and call local lawmakers. Now, across the state, they're taking a different approach to the movement. I think going from that bright red to this black shows a mourning for for what is happening. That black just symbolizes um, where where teachers are. They call it blackout for Ed. Jody Buckaloo is a special education teacher at Lost Creek Elementary. She says the feeling in school Wednesday was one of mourning. It's a, almost a sober feeling that we're still not being heard. And and what further action do we need? Um, for our legislators to, to listen. She says this frustration comes after years of losing funding, bills making it harder for teachers to bargain their salaries and benefits, and the lack of priority to get teachers a COVID-19 vaccine. Buckaloo says any state or local leader who is voting against public schools is voting against their community. When over 90% of Indiana's eligible students, K through 12, attend public schools, and you're not willing to fully fund them, then you're not willing to help your community grow. Buckaloo says you can help by reaching out to your local lawmakers and voicing your opposition. We've linked you to more information over on our website. That's WTHITV.com. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Sarah Lehman. News 10, back to you.